What's up guys, this is Ashnox. In this video, I'm going to be talking about who this hero is, might be. Well, it does make a lot of sense that it's going to be that. So, Light Angelica. We've been teased about another form of Angelica since the uh, opening cinematic of Epic 7. That is really old and uh, we'll know for sure on the 18th of August during the live stream. I'll cover that right after. So, yeah, I'll give you guys my thoughts about that you know prediction wishes this is from the notice of the episode three at the end of it you see this animation and then boom right she is here this looks to be light angelica now it does make a lot of sense that she's going to be part of the next you know moonlight i mean uh mystic summon rotation because after closer charles uh a new four star moonlight hero like light angelica does make a lot of sense uh we are due for it and this is during the opening cinematic you can see right there angelica like levitating going up and then wings opening up so let me slow that down for you guys in a minute angelica is the high priestess of the holy order of the blue cross she is immortal from the look of it you know she her appearance doesn't change hasn't changed in a lot of years and they are referring to her being maybe like 600 years old, if not more. So she had an incurable disease before and the goddess Dishe, she gave her immortality and she basically got her job as the high priestess of the Holy Order of the Blue Cross. And then it's stopping the disease from killing her and also making her immortal so her appearance doesn't change like in the Christmas event. Uh, Raz found you know a picture of uh, Angelica like uh, an, a dated picture and she looks the same right she looks the same and there's also text about you know her incurable disease and uh, that's it so what is this right here there's the wings and all that could it just be a reference uh, reference to immunity buff that she has on skill 3 or could it be her you know being like uh going into another form you know a higher form uh that has more of dish's power and uh yeah it could be definitely that it could refer to like maybe they delayed it for a really long time this light angelica right because in the story she talks a lot about retiring and retiring would mean that she wouldn't have immortality anymore which means she would die because of the disease so it's kind of dark it's pretty dark like she, she wants to retire and she's ready to just basically die uh so that that is definitely a weird one right there if she's referring to that right but yeah that would be really nice light angelica now how to get her to be honest what my wish my wishes would be is that like maybe there's a way to have a specialty change for angelica you know four star ice soul weaver if we could do that and maybe like retain Ice Angelica, because a lot of players have her build for different things. She's amazing in PV content, Wyvern. You know, she's definitely an amazing hero. Like if there was a way to do a bunch of steps, do a bunch of grinding, let's say, and eventually unlock this Light Angelica, that definitely would be the best because every player could get access to this Light Angelica. Now we have, you know, the selection, or OG uh, Moonlight 5-star hero that you can get at the start. Well, not the start start of the game, but later on. And that's really cool. Like, if you could get, like, Light Angelica, that definitely would sound like another power creep right there. But I think a lot of players would definitely like that, right? Let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. But, yeah, now for her skill set, what does make the most sense, though, is that she's going to be the next, you know, 4-star Moonlight hero. And what I don't like about this is that you cannot pity right like you could go in like all the way like 10,000 up mystic medals doesn't even matter nothing guarantees that you actually get the moonlight four star hero so I, I don't believe in that system I have not pulled using that system for a long time I only ch the last one I chased was actually sinful angelica funny enough right sinful angelica is amazing I use her on account one I use her on account number three definitely a lot of fun super powerful hero you know arena offense user in guild war offense rarely in rta but you can use her in pv content as well as speed run like she's definitely great like sinful angelica now light angelica uh referring to that 
that form, right, like uh, like we've seen in the opening cinematic, are they referring to that form or is that just to show immunity buff? Is that just to show, because immunity buff has wings, right, on it and in the, the icon and she does have immunity for the whole team on scale 3. It, it's very powerful stuff because you can soul burn it, it lasts for 4 turns, it has a 4 turn cooldown when you skill her up. Like that scale 3 is insanely powerful, right? Like in the Abyss especially, you can use your souls for that and just keep that immunity on the team. It's a beautiful thing. You can have, you know, a uh, profit candlestick on her, lowering her cooldowns by one turn, which means that you can cycle this stuff like really fast. The skill three, the skill two, an amazing hero. Now, if there would be something like a fusion, maybe like a way to fuse, well, it would be kind of weird. Like, does it make even in any sense to fuse Angelica Ice with Dark Angelica? Like, uh, maybe it does have some sense. I don't know how they would put that into like the, the story, I don't know. Let us know what you guys think about that. A fusion system maybe, because we never had a specialty change for let's say a four star hero. Now a specialty change for Angelica that become light Angelica is kind of weird because a lot of players are relying on Angel Angelica for Wyvern. But if you could keep that ice Angelica and the requirement was ju would just be to actually have Angelica, you know, because uh, you get her for free, right? If you follow the, you do the, the missions, and then maybe the requirement is to have Ice Angelica like 5 star or 6 star or some like that. Uh, so yeah, she, she seems to have like a stronger connection to Dishay uh, compared to even uh, Dien. So yeah, she has she has tremendous power, Angelica, right? And uh, yeah, Light Angelica. Now for her skills, what do I think and also what do i wish at the same time because both make a lot of sense that it's going to be like prediction and wish at the same time so if she would give invulnerability to an ally with let's say her skill number two you know uh, on a short cooldown that would be great and if she could cleanse before doing that that definitely would be a huge thing right there you know in the meta and pve con like there's so many things you could pull off with that actually it sounds overpowered and if you manual content in pve content even pvp like there is some really insane stuff you could pull off because of that right now light angelica sadly i think it's just gonna be uh you know a four star moonlight hero now for her skills the skill number three if it could cleanse debuffs right because I mean, she's most definitely going to be a Soul Weaver. My prediction is that she's going to be a Soul Weaver and she's going to be light and she's going to be uh, from the Mystic, you know, uh, rotation. That That's my prediction. Skill 1, removing a buff does sound good. It's something that we can definitely put to good use. Skill 1, healing an ally with the lowest health sounds good as well. Now, that kit seems a bit too generic right there. Now, here's what I wish... And oh man, uh, God, like that, that would be so good if it was the case. Could you imagine finally a skill like her skill three reverse debuffs on your team into buffs and reverse buff of the enemy team into debuffs? That would be so powerful and it's so powerful that it might be reserved in the future for a five star hero. Uh, nothing stopping from Angel uh, like Light Angelica being a 5 star, but it does make too much sense that she's going to be a 4 star. Now that mechanic seems too strong, so what I'm thinking is that buffs, uh, debuffs on your team would convert into, you know, uh, debuffs turn into buffs. So it would be sort of like the, uh, the opposite. So there's a lot of different things that they could do for... Uh, you know, Light Angelica, I feel like they might go with something brand new, hopefully, because they make a lot of money out of that, and they definitely want to push something new that feels like necessary for players in PvP content, but also very powerful for PvE content. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you still haven't. If you're looking to run the game on your computer, or maybe you're looking for a new phone or a guild on the global server, check the description of the video. Let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section, but that's going to be it for this one. I'm Astronauts. Good luck with all y'all. Do. Peace out for now.